Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to update data in the database. You know, in the previous video, we switched between edit model and the edit uh, and the new model. So in this video, when we click on the update, it should update this information in the database. You know, when you are clicking on this uh, update, it should send a put request or a patch request. So let me show you. So if I come here and look at the routes, I just ran the command of our PHP person. Uh, route list so for user you know when you want to update something either you send a put or patch request to this url so let's see how it is going to work i will come here you know we have our update user it is going to display this one after displaying this one this one uh, for now we command this we don't need it what i'm going to do is we can say this dot form dot put something like this you know we are using we form that's why we specify form it is going to of course be the same way as this one except instead of delete we just try to put here and again it is going to have then and then function will fire and then we have catch it if you have any error it should catch the error so all of them you can write so for this one let's say if uh, close this one yeah then what you can do is you can do all of this action if it was successful otherwise just catch the error or yeah someone suggests something very nice like we can change the progress bar to <laughs> to the red i think uh, when we display the progress let me see when we display that one yeah this dot progress is start and what we can do is we can use this one in multiple places like if it was successful first of all we started here and if it fail what we are going to do is instead of start we say fail it is going to change the color of the progress bar to red and we know something like failed so this is uh, what going to happen now what we are going to do is we are going to send a patch or put request for now we just write it put and we say go to the api user what else you know uh, when you come here you should send the id of the user so i will come here you know here you should send the id of the user you want to update so in here what you can do is you can write bracket like this if i come down here you know for delete we learn it to do plus and then so you can do the same thing here you can write plus id where the id come from the id should come from update user from here so how this is going to come let's see how we can figure out this one because when you click on the edit here let's say uh, yeah this function update user uh, is going to be called and we don't have any way to specify that how to specify the user id the current user id so far we do not know how to do that one so here is how you will do this one if i come all the way down here so you know we can have access to the user id because we have in the form here but we did, did not specify to store the id here that is what we do now like we just say display the user id here because we can take the user id from database and it will store that here when we click on the edit so instead of this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to say this dot oops this dot form dot id let's see if it is going to work for us it should send a request to the this url and we can we should be able to access like the user id so if I go to the controller for now, API here. Okay, yeah, we do need to specify it here, of course. And I will save it here. And we go to the API user controller. So you know when we uh, when we trigger that the the this uh, API, it will call the update function here. So this API, you know this uh, route is going to be equal to this function so let's see if we can display the user information out and if i say 
return id which is going to be this id it should display the id of the user if it was successful like we can display the user information and that is what we want so for now we just say return id or you know what you can do is you can just write a message here it means if 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 the request was successful they can display a message of the the user info this is fine for now if i save it i think if i just come here yeah it just compiled down so i was wondering why it did not compile so if i refresh the page this time and let's click on the edit and we click on the update here so what i'm going to listen for the network tab for the user yeah it is going to send the user 11 here it's fine it's going to send it to user 11 so we are missing one thing here if i come all the way down here what we are missing is just a slash here so if, if i save this time and refresh the page come all the way down to load all the user you know the user id for this one is going to be 11 probably if i click on this one so I click on the update we must receive a message so let's see if we receive the message from the user oh uh, yeah this is 11 updating user info yeah it is fine like we successfully call this function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to update user information first of all I check the user and I say uh, we have a variable called user this is going to be equal to user find or fill get the user we want basically yeah it is going to take the ID and put it here okay find or fill yeah it is fine see it why it is showing the error here uh, unexpected ID find oh yeah it fixed you know this is just linter i think it is giving me an error when i do something wrong here there's not something wrong it's fine now what you can do is you can say user update and we say request all so far it is fine but the thing is we did not do any validation this is fine but what we, we need is we need to validate user information like the username and password should be like return here so what i'm going to do is i will just paste it here and we say the password should not be required or maybe it is required but there is another validation called sometimes sometimes means it should like mm, it is it depends on the user if user write it fine if not still it's fine sometimes it's for that and it should be at least six character so if i save it this time it means they can put the the password as empty for the email it should be unique but we have already that one you know this issue comes a lot in developing applications so the the scenario is that it is going to check in the users table if they have the same email it is it will not let you like uh, like create the user so what you can do is you can just uh, write a comma and say for the email what i'm going to do is i am going to say escape the current user id you, s you say that this user with this id if it if uh, their their email is the same it is fine otherwise fail it it is j just basically like that so for now it, it should work like i mean you should uh, try it like without this one and see if it work if it fail like you can you just come and write it like this because this is how it is going to work if you do not understand let me know because this is a little bit complicated first we say that it is required it is a string it is email address and max character is going to be 191 because this is what we put in our database it should be unique we know we will not do any repeat email in the database and we say in the email field for the current user you can write it 
if you do not uh, write this part it is it will not like let you because this email is already in the database so for the current user it will let you update the information so if i save this one and let's come here and see if it is going to work i will refresh the page for now it is fine but later we can change it when we update profile so i'll come here and change lu to lu to okay lu lu something like two and the password i will not write anything so if i click on the update yeah it failed because we have received the 500 if i come here and say email 11 column 11 so what is wrong oops yeah we write something here uh, it's a small miss after email again you should write a comma so if, if i save this time you don't need to refresh this time so we change it to lua 2 if i click on the update this time it should be successful still it is green if it is successful then yeah user info updated this much easy so uh, let's see if it works really like if i refresh the page mm, yeah it changed the user information what else we need to do uh yeah if i come here and i say if it was successful show us the message close the model something like that you know the drill like we already did this one okay when we delete the information yeah we just show a sweet alert like delete right that the user was deleted so what i'm going to do is uh, in the success i will just display this sweet alert uh, and instead of delete we say updated file has been deleted we say information has been updated and the type should be success it is fine plus we should close the model yeah just copy this one and instead of the show we say hide it and then we can just say the progress should end here so after displaying this one we want to finish i think the name was finish yeah it should finish the progress bar as well so if i save it this time let's try it for the last time if i refresh the page so let's update the view and if i click on this one mm, and we say two and we just change their email let's go to do two and bio is like more info and we change the user type to admin and then we do not specify the password and we click on the update yes update it and yeah successfully uh, after that one it should refresh the our page oops we didn't do the last action like it should uh, fire the event which event the event of let's say yeah fire the event after create it i know the event name is not a good event name because we are not creating the the, the, the event name should be like has uh, an action has been done or action or anything so we fire the event after created when when you fire the event if anyone in the, the comp in this component will know and it will fire this function and once they fire this function it is going to load user information again if i save it this time i hope this is the last round we are going to test this one so let's see yeah information has been updated okay we change the new click on the new and we just change the new to equal to new data click on the update yes changed yeah it refreshed the page it uh, queried the new data and here is what it is going to display so i hope it has been informative for you i know the video gets a little long so this is how it is going to work i just want to explain everything as detailed as possible so thank you for watching